scientist and today uh, I will demonstrate how to integrate Google Analytics 4 in your React application. Uh, Google Analytics is used for web analysis analysis services provided by Go the Google. It's basically used for website traffic analysis, user behavior analysis which include user engagement data, page visited data etc. So as you can see my screen, I've, uh, I've been already using Google Universal Property uh, with my React native uh, React JS application and Google is going to phase out uh, universal property by 1st July 2023 so we need to migrate to the new property that Google introduced that is Google Analytics 4 property so I will demonstrate how we will do that so as you can see my react app in the packet.json so in this app I have already Im implemented Google analytics which is a universal property older version so first I'll remove this dependency so to remove this dependency I will do npm and install react ga now let it happen the new dependency is react ga4 so we need to install this dependency here is the this dependency is almost like react google analytics almost same method you have to initialize the google so you have to log into Google Analytics, then you have to click this code admin. Then you have to create property. In create property, you have to uh, write a name for the property, say sample. Next, you have to click next, and you can uh, also see we have advanced option. We say create a universal analytics property, and this universal analytics property will stop collecting data from 1st July 2023. It is recommended to create Google Analytical 4 property instead. So, I will not recommend this thing. So, you have to click just next. Now you have to uh, give your business detail regarding your website. So you can click anything and proceed next and uh, choose your business objective. So generate lead basically for generating lead. I'll go for generate lead. Then I'll select the web page since we are using it in React AJS application. So now it will ask for your applic uh, your website's URL. So you have to paste your website URL over here in a stream name. Then you create a stream. So let me paste uh, URL. I have created hosted a website. This is that. So I'll paste that URL. let's say simple now just you have to create stream only after this it will create a stream and you will get the following details the stream id the major id this major id is required for using google analytics 4 and here is the data to install on different platform so it says you have to add this script in your HTML. So, uh, um, if you are using, I mean, some other platform or HTML. So, 
it also support various other platform like Shopify, WooCommerce, etc. So we don't need this. Now this is uh, done. Now let's go to our React website. I'll delete this because I've already created a property. Now this is my console. I'll first install the React GA plus a uh, GA4. I'll copy React GA4 and paste the dependency. Install the dependency on my project. So when it will be installed, I will see the dependency over here. Okay, now it's installed. Yes, so you can see 2.1.0 version. Now I'll go to my applications main component okay this is my applications main component then i'll see i'm all as i i'm already using this but i will use ga4 instead of this let's see the documentation okay ga4 react ga okay initialize And we need to initialize and I'm initializing that okay 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 now we need that actually I have already copied that major ID measurement ID so let me go show you again where is that measurement ID So when you so measurement ID is actually when you click this no data is received in last 48 hours this is measurement ID and you have to just paste it over here. and okay let's see if it works now i have to deploy the application So let's see after deploying the application are we seeing any data so far I'm not seeing any data in last 48 hours no data received in last 48 past 48 hours I think by now the application should have been deployed let me refresh it okay initialize example in it is sweet dot send okay there is a method to send the page a detail with the custom path title okay I think there is no path method uh, for in React GA4. 
पेज व्यू मेथड इन जी ए फोर सो वी हैव टू मेक यूज ऑफ दिस मैथड लेट सी ना वी हैव टू मेक यूज ऑफ सेंड मैथड So actually, I'm sending the current path in title. The home page. Okay, let me save it. Push it again. Okay, I have pushed it. Now let's see if it is deployed. Let's wait for a minute for being deployed. Hmm. Unexpected. Application error page view is not a function. So it seems like the, our previous version is deployed now. Now, when it will run, okay. Now we should get something. No data. How come no data? Do we have something in console? In error. No error. Sure, for sure, no error. No, I'm getting it. Now the thing is, why is it not working? Okay, let me figure out. So now I'll show you how you can see the data. Just go to the reports, and under reports, you will see this real time data it takes time actually okay for example it's giving my location in real time 
let me again revisit the app so you can see six minutes ago somebody visited and i visited again so you can see the user data we have one minute ago i have visited this is my recent visit likewise you can explore this react ga4 where you can uh, there is a event method also where you can uh, send specific information regarding a event which could be a button press etc that's all Thank you and also do subscribe my channel if you like this video.